So there were a few questions posted on uh, my last video about uh, the etiology of hypoxemia uh, related uh, to pulmonary vasodilatation in patients with COVID-19 respiratory failure. So I thought I would answer those questions in more details in this uh, short video. And the situation is very similar to the hepatopulmonary syndrome that we see in patients with liver cirrhosis where the nitric oxide is directly responsible for the pulmonary vasodilatation in those patients. What you see in this graph here on the left side is a normal lung with a uniform ventilation and a uniform perfusion. Thus, the ventilation to perfusion ratio is normal. And the venous, uh, the mixed venous blood will get oxygenated normally as it passes through the vasculature of the lung in close contact with this alveoli. On the right side here, what we see is vasodilatation responsible for the non-uniform perfusion as opposed to a normal or uniform ventilation. So the ventilation to perfusion ratio is decreased as a result of the increased perfusion here. Then as the mixed venous blood uh, passes through this vasculature, there is a limitation in terms of uh, the diffusion that causes hypoxemia in those patients. This would be a normal oxygenation process, but in this area here where the vessels are dilated, we have diffusion limitation. This diffusion limitation is uh, related to two different mechanisms. The first one is related to the size of the vessel here. So as you see here, this is normal vessel and uh, the oxygen will get to those RBCs that are passing through this vessel. When the diameter is enlarged, the oxygen needs to travel longer, longer distance in order to get to this RBCs. So normally what will happen is uh, those close RBCs that are in close contact with the capillary endothelium will get oxygenated and the oxygen will not get to the uh, RBCs that are further away from the capillary endothelium. So this is the first mechanism responsible for the hypoxemia. And the other mechanism is that the blood will flow here at a faster rate, meaning that the oxygen will uh, the uh, blood will pass through this vessel rapidly so the oxygen doesn't get enough time to oxygenate those rbcs as they are passing very fast through the uh, vessel here so these two mechanisms are responsible for the diffusion limitation that will be uh, leading to hypoxemia that we see in patients with vasodilatation again this is what we see in patients with uh, hepatopulmonary syndrome as well as in patients with COVID-19 uh, uh, phenotype L in early stages of respiratory failure. Thank you very much.